Hey guys, it's Chris. It's ugly Christmas sweater season again and mine should have a nice large print using my iColor 560. This is a sweater size medium and I've printed my design on a letter size sheet over here. And it doesn't matter how I move it, if it's going to the left or to the right, it's always a little bit too small. So we are going to use SmartCut to create a larger print. If you don't know what SmartCut is, it's a special software that allows you to split your image into two pages with these rectangles. We create a shared space and the software will cut the image in a very smart way onto two pages. We print them out individually. We piece the image together on our sweatshirt and the created image will be much larger than what we can achieve on a single page. Too fast? Let's do it step by step. First we cover common mistakes, so you don't have to do them. You have a blue rectangle and a purple rectangle and you want to move them as close together as possible to create a large common space. If we drag the rectangles apart, like here the blue one more to the right and the purple one more to the left, the shared common space will be much much smaller. If the shared space is as narrow as in our example over here, we don't give the software much options to create a smart cut. Let's try this out. So we can see that the R and below the G are broken up. It cut right through the middle of the letters. And if we piece them together later on, these parts can potentially become visible. So let me show you a regular cut first. We select our page size, in my case A4 or letter size, and we take the purple box and move it to the right as far as we can without overlapping on the left. Then we select the second page, also A4 or letter size in our case, and we move the blue box as far to the left without overlapping on the right side. Now we have created a very large shared space that goes from the E in Mary to the second R in Mary which is roughly one third of the entire image. Let's split this again. And we can see that our large letters are still intact. They're not cut through. The only letters that are cut through are the A and the N, which is exactly in between the letters, so it's super easy to piece this together later on. We have now the option to save it as a PNG or as a PDF. In our case, we select PDF, so we have all pages on one file. Now let me show you how you can do multiple cuts. For this demonstration we use a file that you likely also have if you have ProRip. Go to Uninet, USB dongle, digital stock art samples and we are looking for a mummy design. This way it's easier for you to follow along if you want to. Let's make this design a little bit bigger, so we really need 3 pages. Let's pump this to 16.5 inches. And with the 90 degree rotate button we can rotate our image, so we can cut horizontally. Same procedure over here, we select our page size, we move the box slightly to the left so we create a little bit more space and don't print right on the edge. So this looks good, let's create a second page. Again A4 or letter size in this case and we see if we drag this together that the complete design doesn't fit on the page. So let's create a large common space like we learned. And now you see that the bottom part isn't in the box anymore. So we need to get this on a third page with a little trick. Let me show you. First we're gonna select custom page size instead of A4 or letter size. Click on the wheels drop down menu and go all the way to the bottom to custom. Now our blue page receives the squares over here that we can use to drag our image larger and make the complete design fit on the page. Like so. Now that everything fits in our rectangle, let's use the smart split function again. Here we see some options, dark garment, light garment and other. Let me just explain you quickly what everything is. Dark garment lets the software search for dark areas in the image and 
it does the cuts preferably over there because we don't print the dark parts later on on a dark shirt. The same goes for light. There it looks for example for light parts of the image, it cuts through there because we most likely will knock it out and if we use other, it just goes after the raw contours. When the software font is split like over here, we can have two pages and we just select the larger one and make it full size screen. When we just see the second part of the image, we go to our gears over here, select our page size, in this case A4, you can choose letter if you are in the US, and we have our purple box and our blue box again that we can just move together as we want to and create a large common space. So this should do the job, large shared area, large common space. Let's use the smart split function again. With a large common area like this, the software has more options to choose the best path for us and we deliver the best result later on. The split is done, now we see the third page. If we want to see all three pages we go to window and select tile horizontally or tile vertically depending what we prefer. So now we can see all three pages, the head, the middle part and the fingers. Now we are going to save our output. This time instead of a PDF we use a PNG because we want to use the knock me out function in ProRib later on. So let's just do a really quick demo on the application side. We're gonna do our printouts with the iColor 560 over here. Just standard settings according to ProRib. First page, second page. Then we are going to marry this just after our instructions or the notes that we have made for our heat press setup. First page, now the second page, just fast forwarding this. I do a rough alignment on the garment just to know where I want to put the design later on. And fix it with heat tape when I press. First one is pressed to just roll it off. Second page. Like the first one, when it's cool, roll it off. Repress, you're done. And lastly, a close up between the cut area, the A and the N, looks perfect. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye!